The sun was going down, making the city all warm and cozy. My heart was beating fast because something exciting was about to happen. In a place full of nice looking people, there she was. She stood out because she had a special kind of beauty that felt timeless. Every time she walked, it felt like she was leaving a mark on my heart and I couldn't help but feel fascinated by her. Yet hesitation gripped me like a gentle whisper of doubt. How could I, an ordinary soul, approach someone so extraordinary? I was feeling unsure and lots in my thoughts until a bright light of hope appeared. My friend, like a modern cupid, was there to help me figure out how to connect with someone special. With a hopeful heart, I confided in my friend, sharing the tale of silent admiration. A gleam of excitement lit up his eyes as he readily accepted the mission of love, assuring me that he would pave the way for our destinies to intervene. My friend started a mission to bring us closer. He spoke carefully, creating a connection like weaving a special fabric. It was like he made a path for her to discover the feelings in my heart, sharing my admiration like painting a pictures with words. In the end, something sad happened. My friend who was helping me ended up in falling in love with her. Now they are a couple. Certainly, now as the story concludes, it's time to shift our focus to the main theme. The friend acting as an API. The unique twist sets the stage for our next adventure. Diving into the world of API testing. Let's embark on the journey of learning about API testing. Get ready for a new chapter of discovery and exploration. So what are API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. An API is a set of rules that allows different software to communicate with each other. It is used to request and exchange information. For example, in a story, that boy, consider myself, and there is a girl and there is a friend, right? My friend, basically I am uh, hesitant to talk to the girl, so I ask my friend to convey my message. He takes the message and he delivers to the or conveys to the girl. Then based on that, the girl will reply to my friend. My friend will reply to me, right? So here, if you see, there is an information which is going, which is being exchanged between myself and the girl via the my friend, right? So my friend here act as an API. That is what exactly API. API is basically used to request and exchange informations between various systems. Okay. So why do we use API in our real time, in our real life, right? For example, you can see that in every tech devices every tech gadgets okay so for example you are going to order food from zomato or the swiggy or if you are going to book a cab from your ola or the uber then of course within the apps we can see something like this right so map for example where the let's take in zomato example where the delivery boy is taking the food from parcel from the restaurant and coming to our home the home place right so basically Zomato or the Uber or the Ola or the other similar apps use the Google Map API, right? So here how the API help help us to do certain actions. So this is a very classic example, right? So I can give you a lot of examples. We'll talk about that in our upcoming videos. So we know what is API and where we use or where we see other APIs in real time also. But why we should test them, right? For example, the functionality testing. So what is functionality testing? Ensure that API functions as intended. Okay, so that returns the correct data, performs the expected actions and handles error appropriately. For example, you are going to ask me, hey, what's your name? I will tell you like, hey, my name is Kaushik, right? So that's the appropriate answer. Instead of if you ask me what's your name and if I give the answer as like 28, that is my age, then of course it's not correct right so we have to do the functionality testing whether we are expecting whatever the expected values we are getting the correct results or not the irrelevant results right so that is what functionality testing and then we have integrations as i told already like api is used to communicate between different uh, it can be like client side it can be server side or it can be different programming language irrespective of the back end the front end it should do the communication to Test that of course we have to do the integration testing then the reliability for example let's say that uh, we have we almost buy everything on the online shopping right so for example let's say that 
uh, in an hour 100 people are going to buy something but when there is a sale like flipkart big billion day sale or the amazon great indian sale the chances of buying products are more right so let's say that let's consider that in an hour more than 500 people are going to buy a product so in this case of course we have to know how our api is going to react when there is a much load right so to do that of course we have to do the reliability testings and security so security in the sense of course we can check for this uh, authentications we can check for the data breaches and other security threats for example let's say that uh, we are using chat gpt4 which is a paid version and there is a api key so based on that we we have to send a request we have to get the response all those things will happen right now if the security is worst let's assume it's not let's assume so even without purchasing the plan anybody can use the chat gpt4 and that will be a huge loss for the chat gpt team right so to avoid that situations of course we have to perform the security test if we have done the security testing of course we can know like we even unauthorized persons can access then of course we can fix it and we can uh, avoid the losing of money right then compatibility as i said like api is like it can interact with any system to any system any front end to any front end any back end to any front end like that right so in this scenario of course uh, we have to do the compa compa compatibility testings like it should work in any browsers any any devices and other things also okay so in this video we have learned what is api where we use api and why should also test the api so that's it from my side if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply see you in the next one very soon Tada, bye bye take care